Taylor Hawkins has died, his fellow Foo Fighter band members have confirmed. Foo Fighters drummer Taylor Hawkins has died at the age of 50. The news of his death was announced earlier this morning in a Twitter statement from the band, posting on their official page, his fellow band members spoke of the tragic and untimely loss. The full statement read, The Foo Fighters family is devastated by the tragic and untimely loss of our beloved Taylor Hawkins. His musical spirit and infectious laughter will live on with all of us forever. Our hearts go out to his wife, children and family, and we ask that their privacy be treated with the utmost respect in this unimaginably difficult time. Cause of death has not been confirmed at this time but it is thought he was found in his hotel room while the band were on tour. They've been performing in Colombia with their latest show, which was due to come to the UK this summer. Taylor had been a member of the hit rock band since 1997. He joined Dave Grohl's Foo Fighters after touring with Sass Jordan and Alanis Morissette, as well as his work on the drums for the Foo Fighters. He also lent his skills singing, on piano and playing guitar to their songs. Taylor has also been credited as co-writer on every album since 1999. Alongside his work in the band, the musician has also worked with Brian May, Slash and launched several solo projects. His final performance was with the Foo Fighters at Lollapalooza in Argentina on March 20. Taylor is survived by his wife Allison and his two teenagers, Oliver and Annabelle. Following the tragedy, the Foo Fighters have confirmed they will not be performing at Festival Estereo Picnic. Tributes have been pouring in for Taylor, as fans and fellow musicians have shared their shock at the news. Fans have also gathered outside of the Casa Medina Hotel. where Taylor was staying. Posting on Twitter, Ozzy Osbourne wrote, Ed Taylor Hawkins was truly a great person and an amazing musician. My heart, my love and my condolences go out to his wife, his children, his family, his band and his fans. See you on the other side, Ozzy.